Hello, and welcome to the Big Walnut 2022-23 School Year College Credit Plus presentation. This presentation on College Credit Plus is meant for the classes of 2027 and 2028. I'm Penny Sternament, Big Walnut's College and Career Readiness Coordinator. The following video will serve as the information overview of the College Credit Plus program. Please listen to the video and take time to view all the CCP information that can be found on the Big Walnut College and Career Readiness website. College Credit Plus, often called CCP, is a dual enrollment program where qualified students in grades 7 through 12 can take college courses and earn both college and high school credits. CCP is a vital program to the Big Walnut students. In the first half of the 21-22 school year, Big Walnut students have already earned over 1,400 college credits and will likely exceed this number in the second half of the year. So how does the program work? In general, Big Walnut covers the cost of tuition, books, and fees. However, there are a few courses that are not covered by CCP. These courses are physical education classes, individual lessons, courses with fees that exceed $750, religious or non-secular courses, and travel abroad courses. Families must also cover the cost of any needed transportation, parking, or any optional course fees. Students participating in CCP start their college coursework by taking what is called Level 1 College Classes. After 15 hours of level one coursework, students may move to higher levels of classes. The main exception to this level one course rule are sequential courses, such as a chemistry one and two or a composition one and two. Standardized testing placement into a higher level course also allows you to move beyond the level one courses. This, an example of this would be taking a course much like calculus. Colleges list their level one courses on their website. It is very important that both parents and students realize that the courses taken through College Credit Plus are college courses, and the course content, materials, requirements, and discussions will not be adjusted for a high school student or a middle school student. In order to participate in the CCP program, both the student and the parent will be required to sign a permission slip stating that the student is mature enough to handle the college coursework. The student will also need to affirm that they possess the necessary social and emotional maturity for the college classes. Each college will handle these requirements and they must be completed before any course enrollment can occur. Once a student begins taking CCP coursework, they must maintain a 2.0 or higher college cumulative GPA. Any student falling below this threshold risks probation or dismissal from the CCP program. Another note to take in is students who fail a course or withdraw after the drop date will also be asked to reimburse Big Walnut for the tuition to the failed or withdrawn course. A qualifying student can take a maximum of 30 college credit hours per year or 120 credit hours over their 7th to 12th grade career. The formula used to determine a student's available college hours each school year is 30 minus the number of high school courses they are enrolled in times 3. The remaining number equals the number of college credits that the student can take that year through the CCP program. To qualify for the CCP program, a student must demonstrate college readiness. This can be done via standardized testing, tests such as ACT, SAT, Accuplacer, or Alex. The minimum qualifying test scores for CCP are as follows. For the ACT, English of 18, Reading of 22, Math of 22, SAT, Reading and Writing score of 480, and a math score of 530. Accuplacer, a writing score of 5, and a reading score of 250, and a math Alex test score of 446. 
These standardized test scores are what help determine whether a student is qualified for the CCP program or not. Please note that additional readiness standards are currently being created by the Ohio Department of Education, and we think these will be ready sometime in the spring of 2022. Once these new standards are completed, I will do my very best to update our students and our community on any new eligibility options. Once in place, the new standards will begin with the summer of 2022. At the middle school level, College Credit Plus courses can be taken two ways, online or at the college campus. We have just covered a lot of detailed information on the whole CCP program. So now let us take a look at how to begin the process and break it down into steps. Step one of the College Credit Plus path, no matter how you plan to participate, always begins by submitting the Big Walnut Letter of Intent by April 1st of 2022. This step lets Big Walnut know that you are considering participating in CCP. It is not a commitment to participate, so please, if you are considering CCP at all, don't hesitate and submit this intent form. Step two is figuring out if CCP is right for you. This step is extremely important. There are two factors in this step, the personal factors to evaluate and the CCP facts to understand. For the personal factors, begin this process by thinking backwards. Where does the student see themselves after graduation? What are the student's future goals? When and how can CCP support their goals? Consider personal factors that relate to success in CCP courses the student's social and emotional maturity, their academic readiness, their personal desire, their organizational and time management skills, the family's ability to support needs such as transportation if needed, the student's and the family's time commitments to other important programs and activities such as clubs, sports, travel, and work. Once you work through the personal factors related to the readiness for CCP participation, make sure you understand some important facts about College Credit Plus. These are college courses and the student is building a permanent college transcript. The college courses have a bigger time commitment and move at a faster pace than high school courses. College testing and projects and papers play a larger role in the final grade. CCP courses will count in the 180 hours for a bachelor's degree and 90 hours for an associate's degree that the financial aid program will consider when they're looking at your financial aid package. Remember, a typical bachelor's is 120 hours and associate's is typically 60 hours. So there is plenty of wiggle room, but you do need to have a goal and a plan for your CCP participation. That will help you so that you don't jeopardize any future financial aid. The college oversees the courses, the grade scale, and the schedule. Your college spring break will likely be different from the Big Walnut's spring break. The student is also protected under FERPA with the college. This means the student must personally work and deal with the college and the professors, not the parent. If you have a written plan, such as a 504 or an IEP, you will need to file paperwork with the college to determine what supports can be allowed. No support can be given in any college credit class unless there is a college approved plan. This type of planning helps ensure success in the College Credit Plus participation. The third step is choosing which institution and how the student will participate in CCP. Will the student enroll with COTC, Columbus State, Marion Tech, or Zane State, or some other program? Will courses be taken at the college campus, online, or a combination of the two options? Once a student and their family have figured out the where and when, they must follow the institution's requirements and deadlines. The best place to find this information is right on the college website. Now that you know about the general steps to participate in College Credit Plus, let's look at the different options of participation through the Big Walnut CCP program. 
there are two options I want to share with you. The first option is to take College Credit Plus courses online or on a Columbus State campus. This is the main option our middle school students have used. The steps to participate are, step one, turn in the letter of intent. And the best place to turn this in is to your current school's counselor. Step two, set up a time to talk to your school counselor to discuss if College Credit Plus is right for you for the 22-23 school year. Step three, complete a Columbus State CCP application. Step four, complete the Columbus State permission form. Step five, set up a time to meet with me, the CCP coordinator, to talk about course plans and options and discuss how you will test to qualify. Step six, complete testing to qualify. And step seven, register for classes with a College Credit Plus coordinator. Please note that the summer registration for Columbus State opens on February 21st and the classes will begin on May 31st. For fall 22 registration, that opens up April 18th and students should complete this registration prior to their summer break. The second option is to take College Credit Plus classes with another Ohio institution offering CCP. You will need to check with the institution on their process and follow all the requirements and deadlines. You can find this information right on the institution's website. I strongly recommend that if you want College Credit Plus through an institution other than Columbus State, that you personally meet with your school counselor and the College Credit Plus coordinator as soon as possible to get started, as deadlines can come as early as March 15th. For more detailed information on the College Credit Plus program, please go to the Big Walnut College and Career Readiness website. That's bwls.net forward slash college career readiness dot ASPX. Open and read over the Big Walnut information packet and check out all the embedded links. You will also find instructional videos and CCP overview from the colleges on this website as well. The College Credit Plus program offers many advantages. It can provide a means to bridge the gap between high school and college, to get a jump start on college credits, allow completion of a job ready certificate, or assist a student in discovering their post graduation path. If College Credit Plus is a good option for you, please be sure to obtain a Big Walnut CCP information packet from your school counseling office or print one from the College and Career Readiness website. The last page of the CCP information packet is the intent to participate form. Turn the intent to participate form into your school counseling office right away to get the process started. As the College and Career Readiness Coordinator, I'm here to assist you through the CCP process. You can reach me by email at pennysternivant at bwls.net or by phone at 740-965-7753. Thank you for considering the College Credit Plus program.